The Ghana Productive Safety Net Project has been initiated to support the government strengthening systems that improve the productivity of the extreme poor. World Bank Country Director Pierre Laporte noted that extra support has been made available to government. That through a request from government, the World Bank will further support government of Ghana with additional financing to the GPN, GPSN P2, which will aid in increasing livelihood empowerment against poverty, the LIP, benefits and coverage, as well as expanding to reach other important social protection programs. And this will be for an amount of $150 million, which we hope to take to the board before end of June. Deputy Minister for Gender, Children and Social Protection, one of the implementing ministries of the project, Lareba Zuera Abudu, emphasized the need to leverage on dataization for effective social protection delivery. Having a robust and digitized system for social protection delivery really helps in the reduction of poverty and inequality. We therefore need to invest more to leverage on digitization for effective social protection delivery to close existing coverage gaps and reduce poverty. Digitizing social protection delivery has the potential to reduce fragmented, isolated social protection interventions. Deputy Minister for Local Government, Decentralization and Rural Development, Collins Augustine in team, lauded the intervention. We are also going to have a second phase, in, in the, which is bringing on board additional $100 million. And that is going to target about 100,000 beneficiaries through the Labor Intensive Public Works Program and then the Productive Inclusions as well as the, the, the LEAP. That gives us hope that uh, we'll be building a society where many more will now come into the financial inclusion bucket.